Hello and welcome back again to Robot Showdown Series 1 Heat B, the second heat. Okay, um, I'm sorry, I was at, this was actually supposed to be done quite a bit earlier, but I went out with a bunch of friends cooking just a game of football, but never mind that. The second heat of Series 1, I thought the first heat was absolutely excellent. We saw Chaos 2 proceed, Chaos 2 and now through the quarter finals after a very good match against slicer in the heat final slicer will be seeded for the next series 24th so it's done like robot was great um just one more thing to show you it's a quite a bright sky actually out there although apparently it's going to chuck it down like piss tomorrow but anyway it's about time we got on with the second heat we've got eight robots in this heat and we've got i think this heat's got a tougher lineup it's more aggressive the robots in the first heat apart from chaos 2 probably slicer and heavy case 2 a lot of them were big old softies this heat is more for the hardened veteran robots of robots so well sorry me i'm just gonna move about down here because i'm gonna probably use this view this time around for the battle Having a drink, my glass of water. Do you know what? I'm really thirsty. So, I think we're making this out, which we are. We've already got the ref bot on. We'll do the house robots after this. Let's get on with the first match. We have Firestorm. So, this pullback has also done incredibly well in my series. It's got a great spring power flipper. It's a flipping arm. Now, this one's not so much about throwing robots out of the arena, even though it has the power to do so. This machine is more about throwing them from a long distance. So, this one, a lot of robots are going to want to watch out for faster one doing some pit takeouts because it can flip robots into the pit. A great machine, this one. It's now, it's able to self like that way, and I've decided, even if this happens, it can just do that, and then do that again. Great machine, this one. Very good. Good legacy, as well. I'm sure this machine is going to do well, but it's got a tough line-up. So, I'm just going to move this. You can see a small bit of robots coming from the alley. Next one on. The worst robot robot showdown I've ever seen. Polyman. Now, this has to be, quite frankly, the worst machine we're ever going to see. It has no screen mech, and its weapon's a shaker. It shakes on robots and it's like that, but it just falls over all the time. It fa it's quite good at face planting, mind you, so... Epic Fail Compilation 2010, I think Polyman. At least that's one thing he might do well in, but he has no wheel weaponry, no screen mech. He makes... He's not like Fat Boy Tin from the original Robot Wars, but I think he's even worse. We need to hurry up though, so. Next one on. Bulldog Notebook. Quickly can make up the picture of the Bulldog. Um, I was going to do Bulldog Breed, but it's really crap version otherwise, and I don't want that. If I want a Bulldog Breeder replica, I want it to be good anyway. It's Bulldog Notebook, it's got a flimsy looking flipper. It's not, hasn't, didn't appear in my first and second and televised series, but in my practice series. It did have a draw against Chaos 2 once, but that was with the previous design, which I think my mum threw in the bin. So, I don't think Bulldog Notebook are going to get on with my family so far, but never mind that. But best of all, now we have a robot which has to be dropped in, and a lot of you will know this robot, because right now it's currently competing in Ross's Robot Wars. Robotic File from Richie's Robot Wars. So this machine, as everyone knows, was one of the most powerful flippers in Richie's Robot Wars, and probably in all the family robot wars, along with legends like emergency and things it's a great machine richie's robot wars i mean ah, it's a great machine robotic file it's from richie's robot wars it's currently competing with ross's robot wars it's already made it through to the quarterfinals there or semis or whatever he calls it can it make it through here but it's up against firestorm who i believe they've even fought against in richie's robot wars bulldog notebook and polyman polyman will be no problemo so now in the house robot corner cam we've got Matilda, with the lifting tusks and the spinning disc, which in the last heat wrecked the head from head to toe. Oh wait, he doesn't have any toes because he's a head. That's not even funny. And Sergeant Bash, I told you we'd have his flamethrower, even though it doesn't work now. Still a good machine. Good at face planting this one. I think it could go far. Okay. The 
music for this one is going to be the Jack 2 music, and this one is going to be, oh, it's a, uh, sorry about this. Okay, it's the Jack 2 Hagen City Harlot theme, once again I'd like to thank TH3GTR uh, TH3 for uploading all of these, here we go. Three, two, one, activate. So this is it, he beams beginning. Oh my god, Polly man. Well, it's going on a bit shaky in that, it's not doing much. Oh, and Polly man's out already. There's no time limits in the series, so bye bye Polly man, up onto my bed. It's not very high up my bed, so. They're not gonna get blog notebook out of the arena. That was an awful flip. Don't even think blog notebook can flip. This one can be in two parts. So, the bottom bow, huge big thing with the great big flipper and the firestorm. Left for it to round two if he beat. Sarge, you didn't really do anything, and Matilda, at least just stuck up for your rights, even though you don't have any rights. Breathbot, I'll have to head back there, but the other machines, Bulldog Notebook, couldn't seem, it seemed to have just, just knocked itself out. So, better luck next time, you guys. See you in Extreme, or if not, then Series 2. Polyman, I can't believe they're competing in this series. This is a professional series. Well, in the meantime, just take a break. As the next world is getting ready. Let's have a glass of water. Okay. Now we've got a good lineup of machines for the next round. This is actually slightly better. Line. We've got some very, very big robots. Find it hard to even fit through the alleyway. Yep, one of them can't. And I think Roscoe Whitey quite likes this flip spot. Now, my arena wall, the phantom one is very flimsy, so I might have to remake it. Or just have another Diet Coke one. Which will be annoying, but it's just because it keeps falling out. It's just it's weak, in other words. Anyway. Oh, screw you. Okay, let's get on 
down with the next one. We've got Joke Book 2000. Now, I don't really think this machine's that good, because it's not even a joke book. But it's got a nice flimsy flipper. It's from London. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see the profiles of the robots, just like last time in the description, I'll say that next time at the start of the heat. But this machine, although it's big, and it's the size of a robotic pole, it looks incredibly flimsy, and I just don't see it going far. Next on, giant rugby ball. Now, I think it's got it's a Gilbert rugby ball. It's a, I got it in a rugby shop in Bath when I was up on when I was up um, when I was on holiday in Bath in um. It was either 2007 or when I went to see Bath vs Leicester at the Bath Rugby Stadium in 2008, November. Anyway, um, I think Roscoe Whitey quite likes this one. 